Hi, my name's Amanda and I do Cricut Hacks. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a sticker from start to finish. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. So first you're going to need sticker paper. I get this from Amazon for $17.99. I'm Canadian, so if you're American it might be less. But there's the product. It's called Inkjet Printer Vinyl by Craftables and I love this stuff. It works great. The second thing you're going to need is Oracle 651 Transparent Vinyl. So this is the image I chose. I got this from Bitemoji app on my phone, and then I uploaded it into Design Space. So now you're gonna add your words. And then you can change the font to whatever you want choose system and you'll get to see your own fonts. So then you're going to want to put your font the way you want it. And I'm going to make it closer together by hitting minus three and that will put my font closer together. <clears throat> and then you can add it anywhere onto the image like so and then you select the whole thing and duplicate and move this one away and then you select this whole one and you click weld then you're going to want to change the color by going up here and typing clicking black it works better if you do it with black then you're going to click your snipping tool which can be found on your computer you just type it in here and then you can pin it to your taskbar. Then you click new, and then you take like a screenshot of your image, and then click file and save as, and then you choose what you wanna name it, and then save. Then you're gonna wanna open Inkscape, and I have 0 0.92.4 for Inkscape. Click File, Import, find your sticker that you wa wanted to use. Click Open, this window will pop up. You just click OK, and then make it bigger. And you're gonna click Path and Trace Bitmap. And then this menu will come up. You're gonna wanna put the first threshold up to 490, and then click OK and then pull it away. And as you can see, this one has a full white background. You can't see the box. This one does not. It's like an SVG. So you're gonna delete the one that has the full white box. And then you're going to click Path and Linked Offset. And this little diamond will come up at the top. Change the color of what you want. And then just drag out to make A border around your sticker and you want to make it so that there's no like this where it's not cutting all of that you want it to be completely touching like so and then I'm going to click my cursor button up here at the top drag this away and you can delete that and then we're gonna go to this one and we're gonna click path and union and then path and break apart, and then union again, path and union. And that will make a background of your sticker. And now you're going to want to click path and object path, and then you're gonna to wanna to adjust it so it's inside this box. For sizing wise, it'll make it smaller. Then click file and save as, and then name it. And then you're going to want to save type as, click that open and click plain SVG and then click save. Now we're going to go back to design space and you can delete this image, select this one and move it over, click upload, upload image, browse, and then look for that sticker. And then click open. 
and there's your sticker background upload can you click it and insert so it's still pretty huge I haven't figured out the sizing yet but you can just size it yourself you're gonna right click on it first and send back I forgot that part then you take this whole image and you can size it yourself like so and I'm gonna change the background to white because I prefer a white background for stickers and then you select the whole thing and you're gonna click down here and click flatten and now you won't see the white background but you can see it if you click this blank canvas button you can go up here and choose the color of your canvas so there you go there's your sticker then you're going to turn the lines back on and you're going to size it like so I'm going to do it small so this is about two inches by two inches okay so I changed the sticker to something I actually need to print and I just wanted to show you guys that it has to be 6.75 width by 9.2 height is the highest you can make a print and cut so I wouldn't actually go to the full nine because it won't print the bottom line. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So I go above the 10 and you stay at 6.75. Then you're gonna click, you're gonna attach all of them. So you select all together and you click attach, which is right down there. Then you go to make it. And this is what it's going to print. So now we go to the printer. So click continue and then send to printer. And then you're going to print. And now once you've had it printed, you put it on your mat. And I'm going to get my Oracle 651 transparent vinyl. And you want to put it on the mat, but you don't want to go over your black box because then your machine will not be able to read the cuts. So I'm going to just cut right inside the box, like so. And then I'm going to peel up this side and then I'm gonna bend this under and then I'm gonna push it onto the sticker paper so that it has something to hold on. Then you just flip it over and you kind of just slide it in like this, pushing the whole way. And then you're going to take your scraper and you're going to push that adhesive vinyl onto your sticker paper really good. Get all the bubbles out. I find with Oracle 651, it actually pushes the bu bubbles out really, really well. So make sure you push it down nice and then make sure that your box is straight on your mat like so. Now you're gonna need to make your own custom setting. I've already made mine, which is right here, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. Go to browse, browse materials and go to material setting right here and scroll all the way to the bottom and add new material. So you name the material, sticker, and then click save. And now it's gonna allow you to adjust. So you're gonna go all the way to 350. And you keep that off and you do fine point blade and then you click save. I'm not gonna save because I've already have one. It's right here. So I'm gonna edit this one to delete it. So my sticker is already right here at 350. So then you're gonna click your sticker material once you've get it set up and you're gonna click more pressure. So it will cut all the way through your sticker, including the backing. And then you'll be left with one of these with the backing. So now I'm going to press my go button and it's gonna scan the lines and it'll be able to scan them because I didn't put the transparent vinyl over top of the black lines. See how it's just inside the box. So now it's gonna do its scanning. And this will take a couple minutes. 
because it scans every single side twice. Sometimes it scans it more than twice. So now it's able to cut. And it's gonna go in and it's gonna cut around. But it's gonna go slow because it's doing a deep cut. The cutting process will also take a little bit of time, but as you can see, it's starting to cut right through those stickers. Thanks for watching my tutorial, and if that helped, please subscribe.